Hello everyone, welcome back to another card tutorial. Today I'm showing you how I made this adorable card using my Lawn Fawn Sunburst backdrop and the adorable Tropical Toucan set by Pretty Pink Posh. This card would be great to send to someone who just needs a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of a pick me up to let someone know you are thinking of them and sending some positivity their way. So to get started, like all my cards, I'm going to start by stamping out my images. I do this twice so that my lines are nice and dark and clear. These are the colours that I'm going to be using today. As you can see, there's a mix of both Copic markers and my regular alcohol markers. I always use my super simple technique of just using two colours per area that are kind of in the same family to give my images just a little bit of shadow and to make it look like there's a bit of dimension there. I'm going to be starting by colouring in this tree branch and then moving on to that adorable toucan. I'll leave you with some music while I do this. So if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I'm always very cautious when it comes to rainbows because I tend to overdo things. I try to add every color, try to balance things out. It usually turns into a big mess. But because this is a card that I want to brighten someone's day, I thought I would sneak in just a little bit of a rainbow with these flecks. So I'm using a whole bunch of my little distress inks, putting a little bit on the mat, watering it down and sprinkling it all over the top. Now, unfortunately, my camera cut out for some reason as I was doing this but I kept the circle for the middle of this background dye and I'm going to color it so that it looks like the sun. So I use some yellow and orange distress ink for this. And then to make it kind of look like it's glowing, I'm using the same orange and just very gently going around the inside of that circle so that it lines the edges and makes it look like it's glowing. Now I really wanted to have this little branch poking out of the hole here so that it wasn't on the outside, it didn't look like it needed to attach itself to anything else, it doesn't look like the branch suddenly ends. So I'm tucking just the very edge of it behind the circle opening. To give this whole background a bit of dimension, I'm using some kids adhesive craft foam, just my white scraps that I've had from offcuts from other projects and I'm trimming them down so that they fit between these stitched lines. I love these stitch details, but I have noticed that if I put something behind them, you can see through it. It wouldn't matter so much if you can see a little bit of this white, but if I went for another color, you'd see it through the stitch detail. So I'm just putting these between it just so that everything looks neat. At first I was just going to do every second one, but I had so many leftover scraps, I thought it would just make the whole card feel nice and even, there'd be no bumps in the background if I just filled in all these spots. To 
stick all of this down to my card base, I'm simply using some PVA glue. To make this branch really look like it's poking through the hole of this one, I'm putting some double-sided foam squares on the back. If you're planning on making this card or copying this design, I highly recommend putting those foam squares on before you stick the background down. Or before you stick the branch to the background at all, so it makes it a bit less awkward to do this step. It was then time to adhere my little toucan as well. And again, I used some double-sided foam squares. I then used a little bit of glue on his tail and on the little feathers on his head just so that all the pieces were secure and nothing was sticking out. For my sentiment today, I'm actually going to be playing around with the sentiment that comes with this little stamp set that says you can do it. But I'm going to, I guess, stretch it out a bit instead of having the words stacked on top of each other. So to do this, I'm going to be stamping it twice and blocking out the letters that I don't want stamped at the time. So I'm going with do it first because that's going to be on the edge of the banner that I had cut out. So I've blocked off the you can at the top with some scraps of cardstock. I'm going to heat emboss this first before coming back and doing the same thing with the you can. I'm going to glue this down with some PVA glue. Typically I would add dimension to my sentiment banners but because the whole background is already raised this card would then be super thick and it might be a little bit hard to post. But because the black contrasts so well with the white not adding that extra dimension to it wasn't really a problem. I'm going to trim off the excess of that banner hanging over the edge and then I'm going to adhere the extra little flower that I had stamped out earlier. And there we have it, this card is complete. This card was super quick and easy to make. I love this toucan set. It is just so cute. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.